Well, it's been a huge start to this senior season for Amba Etatawa. And Amba, how has this happened for you to come out with two huge games in a row to start your Q's career? I mean, it feels good just going back to listening to what the coach is saying and the techniques that we practice every day. You know, small stuff like that can go a long way when you buy into what the coaches are teaching you every day. Take me back to uh, the touchdown you had last week where you we had two. So let's go for the one that you, you broke a couple tackles. When, when those guys are falling off you, when did you realize you were getting into the end zone? Um, it wasn't. I'm, it was kind of. It was kind of strange actually. Um, I seen the one guy in my peripheral vision. I kind of just lowered my shoulder a little bit. Next thing you know, I seen the end zone. And I just took my full stride towards it. Did you like on your other touchdown that the coaches had faith to dial up that same play again because you just missed the fade and then uh, dialed it up for a touchdown right away? All right, Coach said we're going to be aggressive, so I like, I like the fact that they came back to me. They trusted and believed that I would make the play the second time. All right, take me into this. Uh, you guys played against Bowling Green last year at Maryland. You saw that offense in action. How fast did you jump on the opportunity to come here when it became available? It was, it was really fast, actually. Coach, guys are making jokes like, oh, I want to transfer to Bowling Green, you know, He's making jokes about it. But, you know, I got the opportunity to come here and play at the ACC level with Coach Baby. So, you know, everything worked out. Did you imagine it could have started as well as it has personally for you? I mean, I knew what I could do. It was just a matter of getting the opportunities, you know, believing in the coaching and just putting it all together. What's the connection that you've developed so far with Eric Dungy as your quarterback right now? That's my guy. That's my guy. You know, we uh, spend a lot of time on and off the field. You know, we started early in the summer throwing routes, uh, you know, just building chemistry so we can make the plays that we need to make. When you go through an offense like this and there are so many opportunities, do you even notice the numbers <laughs> that get compiled or do you, do you sort of have to look back after and say, whoa, whoa look, look at what we just did? I mean, we go so fast, there's not really much time to look at the numbers during the game. So after the game, it's, it's good to see, you know, we aim for the W, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's good to see the success that we're having you know, on the field. Amba Edatawa with us. And Amba, you've got a very interesting uh, background, born in Oman. You're Nigerian, yes. but you grew up in Atlanta. Yes. Explain that. How did that all come to be in in one life story? Um, my mother, my mother, she's like Superwoman. You know, she was teaching an old man at a university when I was very, very young. I, I have no too much memory of it, but then we moved to Marietta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, I was raised from there. And you end up here. So you've got an interesting background because you have been back to Nigeria, right, and sort of learned your roots. So how important is that to you? I mean, it's very important to me. Most of my family, all my cousins, they still live over there, all my mother's brothers and sisters. So I get a chance. You know, they have FaceTime over this. I get a, a chance to talk to them a lot over the FaceTime, and, you know, keep in contact with them. And it means a lot to me. And you passed up an opportunity to go back this summer, right, in order so you could uh, get ready and for this senior season for you. Right. You know, I just want, I didn't want to miss too much of the summer and then coming in as a grad chance. I know I, was, I had to catch up on a lot. A lot of guys were ahead of me, so I just, you know, sat this one out. You know, my family they had fun for me, so I was there in spirit. So, you know, everything worked out. Right, how much has your brother really led the way? Etta, who is uh, obviously a little bigger than you. He was a defensive lineman who played at Clemson about a decade ago and had his career cut short. Well, what lessons did you learn from him, and what advice does he give you? I mean, my brother, he sacrificed a lot for me and my other brothers. You know, it was all him. He is the one who kept our heads on straight, showed us the way. It was, he, he led by example for the most part, so we just followed what he did, and, you know, he made men out of us. And now here you are getting ready for USF. Obviously a tough one uh, last week. What is the turnaround like to get everything back on track here this week? Um, we're focusing on not letting the Louisville loss linger on. You know, we still have a lot of football to play, so we're just moving forward, focus on what we can do to improve from here on out. And how dangerous is this USF team? They've been playing really well ever since, basically, uh, the Syracuse game last season. All right, they've been playing really well, but again, this, we're going to focus on what we can do to, you know, take them down and come home with a W. All right, Amba, good luck this week. I appreciate it.